Well, we had a, a meeting this morning. We've been in telecommunication with the counties. Uh, everybody's ready. Everybody's prepared. And I, we've, uh, of course, we're operating under an executive order, which I issued yesterday that allows us to move people and equipment much more quickly. Uh, we are not going to have any evacuations. We're not going to have any closing of state agencies. I repeat again, this does not appear to be one that requires any evacuation orders or closing of state agencies, but um, the schools, some of the schools are closed, some of them are, and we urge them to try to get back, open back up as quickly as possible. The longer the schools are closed and the children can't go to school, then we know those are consequences for that as far as learning. I'd urge everybody, once again, get your information from official sources. There's always a lot of chatter in the social media. A lot of it is right. Most of it is probably wrong. But if you get your information from official sources, you'll, you'll be much better informed. So again, this is, uh, this is not something we haven't seen before. There may be newcomers to the state that have never seen a hurricane, never seen a flood. But uh, those of us who've been here for a number of years have. And again, we've seen, we've seen some bad ones. Uh, one of the worst was Hurricane Hazel back in the 50s. Another was, of course, was Hugo in uh, 1980, 89. And that, that really hit us. This does not appear to be in that category at all. But it is still dangerous. And we are prepared. Uh, we have some shelters that have already opened up. Uh, we'll, we'll explain that more. I mean, some are open now and more available to be open. And I advise everybody again to, and you ought to all, we all ought to do this all the time. This gives us another opportunity to do it. Get all your papers, important papers together that you have to leave the house and can't come back. Get your pills, your prescriptions, uh, your pets. Get a, have a plan for all of that and understand that you, you may be trying to get those things together when the power is out and you need to get out of the house. But until you have to get out, stay home. Stay home tonight. Don't go sightseeing to see what's happening. Don't go driving around. There's nothing good going to come from that. So uh, we, again, we've we've been through this before. We've been through a lot worse than this one appears to be. So uh, we are ready. Your, your team all across the state is, is ready, and we want to want everybody to be as ready and prepared. Don't panic, uh, but be prepared and get your information from official sources.